Kyle Sternberg leads HSTW to another win tonight. Uh, Kyle, they made you guys sweat it out for a half, but you're able to pull away for a pretty nice win. What are the takeaways? Uh, yeah, in the first half, we thought our defense was pretty good. They hit some tough shots. Uh, we just wanted to keep our defensive intensity in the second half. Was it also maybe just a matter or two in the first half of getting some shots to fall? Uh, you guys had some looks that weren't going. But, you know, I guess to piggyback off that, what did you guys do offensively that not only allowed the shots to fall but opened up those looks? Yeah, we just started moving and talking and cutting through. Uh, in the first half, we had a lot of good looks, and we know we can shoot the ball well, so we just kept shooting. What do you feel was the biggest reason you guys won tonight? Um, it's got to be defense. Uh, I think it was like 12 points or something in the second half. Uh, we really focused on defense, and to have such a good night defensively feels good. Without giving too many secrets away, uh, anything special you guys were doing defensively that, that led to that? We just tried to go back to fundamental defense from week one. We tried to execute that tonight. Offensively for you tonight, I think you finished with 18, if I remember correctly. Tell me what was clicking. Um, I was just trying to get some extra chance points. Uh, I was trying to crash the boards really hard, and uh, even though my outside shots weren't falling, I was just trying to get to the rim. Yeah, you guys have a nice balance of, you know, being able to hit shots from the outside, being able to drive inside as well. Speak to how those kind of complement each other within the offense. Um, we always want our threes to come from inside out, and just we want to have good open looks. And we know if our threes aren't falling, we can get to the hoop and try and get it to the foul line too. I think you guys had three in double figures tonight. Uh, Luke joined you and then Raiden, of course. What do you feel as a whole the offense did well tonight? Um, I think we just talked and moved and had good rhythm together. Uh, it felt like it was easy to get open looks, and Underwood did a great job in the first half of trying to stop us, but we just kept moving and we got some open looks. 11-0, I think, on the year now. Uh, how are you guys feeling? Uh, we're just trying to take it one game at a time. We don't want to get too ahead of ourselves because January is a tough month. We just want to take it one game at a time. All right, Coach, uh, they made you guys sweat it out for a half, three-point game. Uh, then you guys, your offense looked like started to gel. Just what were your thoughts on the night? Yeah, I mean, the first half was really good basketball on both ends. Uh, you know, our goal is to force really tough shots, um, and, and they made some really tough shots. So, I mean, it, I still like the purpose that we played within the first half, even though it was a three-point game. And, you know, we, we try not to play to the scoreboard. At the same time, you have to be aware. Um, and offensively, I mean, we had a lot of really good looks. They weren't falling. We missed some second-chance opportunities maybe in there and didn't have a lot of, a lot of breaks in transition. Uh, so second half, it was really, like, keep the purpose, execute a little bit more efficiently in the half court, um, and then keep playing defense. And uh, we rebounded really well in the second half. Any particular adjustments or points of emphasis at halftime that maybe parlayed into that success there in the second half? Um, we talked about just being really strong through contact. Uh, we were getting some good penetration lanes or we would get some offensive rebounds or whatever the case is. And um, we weren't really finishing through the contact or we weren't seeing the extra pass or reading the double. And so we just you know, said, hey, anticipate a little bit more on the offensive end, trust the guy you're passing the ball to. Um, it helps when you make shots, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Um, and then, I mean, defensively, we, we really wanted to pride ourselves um, I'm playing really good defense and we mixed it up. We, we gave it a little bit different look um, defensively too, um, which is something that we've been wanting to do for a while. And um, to be able to do that, you got to execute on both ends. And so once we started executing on one end, we were able to switch some things up defensively too. I know Kyle talked a little bit about your guys' inside out game setting up the offense. Uh, that was evident tonight. Yeah, I mean, it, between Kyle and Raiden um, and Braden, you know, any three of those guys can go in, but they also can play the perimeter a little bit too. And so looking to force that mismatch, a lot of teams are going to, um, I guess I would call it a junk defense, and they're going to force us to do some different things. And uh, we've been practicing it, so it's nice to kind of see us settle in and, and see the open guy and be able to have some success against a really tough defense. Another really strong night from Kyle. Uh, from your perspective, what did you see that stood out? Attack on the rim. Like he's, he's got to get to the rim. We know he can shoot the ball. Um, but we, we want to see him tack in the rim. He's a pretty darn good passer. He's a strong finisher, so he's got to attack the rim. And again, that opens up that inside-out game. It doesn't have to be a post-touch. It can be with the penetration. So for him, if he attacks the rim, some of that outside stuff comes into play. 11-0 on the air. I know you guys want to take it one game at a time, but you know, what do you come away from this game? What are kind of some of the thoughts coming away from this game? Uh, we improved so much mentally. Um, uh, n nothing against that. Like our practices haven't been great. Um, we've struggled flow wise. I think in the last couple of games, we haven't necessarily been healthy. We're still not full strength. Um, and so like this was a mentally really, really good game for us to be able to buckle down and not settle on offense and really make sure we had strong defense for four quarters um, and be ready to go in your number calls. Uh, when you get tired, play the extra possession. If you got to get on the floor, get on the floor, whether it's a 12 point game or two point game, those habits have to be created. And um, tonight was a night where we did that for four quarters.